episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for Skyfire. Now, this is a... Sorry. This is a film coming to us, a uh, Chinese film, right? China Bruce? I don't know. Ah! You didn't do your research. What's wrong You're the with one who did man? the research. No, I'm kidding. I don't know either. So, um, this film is, is interesting. So, it's good idea, bad idea. So, good idea. Open up this really nice resort on bad an island. Idea. Bad idea. Opening up this really nice resort on the inside of the iconic Pacific Volcanic Rim. Well, known as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, what's interesting about this film is that, while I don't recognize the writers, I definitely recognize the director, uh, Simon West, who's best known for his work on the live-action Laura Croft Tomb Raider film, and Con Air. So, so some light sprinklings, a bit of cage time sprinkle on this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's dive into this uh, for the official trailer. Official. Uh, for Skyfire. I don't know why. It's, it's, every time I hear Skyfire, it's like that's when it comes to my mind. But let's dive into this and take a look at it. Welcome to the most extraordinary and unforgettable experience available on this planet. Tens of thousands of visitors a month have only just begun. <laughs> Nature Spectacle presented as entertainment. When only a lunatic would build a world class resort on a ticking time bomb of multiple Earth, right? Yay. The mountain's waking up. Wait for it. I need time to study it. We're all going to be fine. I'm not going to trust a guy who played Lucius Malfoy. Does that look fine to you, Christopher? Jesus. Oh, fuck. From above, below. Man. Oh, fuck it. Freddy did Expendables, Expendables too. too. Yeah. Jason Isaac, too. Yeah. Oh! The guy literally just <laughs> got speared by a goddamn, like, volcanic rock. See, honey, this is why I wanted to go to Jurassic World. <laughs> You know, I, I'm i not going to ask about that scene, but, um, you know, I'll give this film this. It has been a while since I've seen a volcano volcano disaster film. I know, right? Or at least, the, I think yeah. Dante's Peak was the last, no, no, it was the LA, vol it was a volcano, the Tommy Lee Jones volcano. Yeah, that was the last good one, to be honest. Eh, I'm not saying, I'm not saying great, popcorn great Popcorn flick ones, enjoyable. But more of like, it was more of like, you know, it, you know, it, you know, it was as good as, you know, um, it's, it's up there, let's put it that way. You know, it's it's up there of like the last decent good type of, you know, volcano film. You know, but it seems alright, you know. It's again like you said, it's one of those popcorn flicks where it's like, ah, pop it on and watch it. You know, it's coming to it's coming straight to video on demand, so it's like you're gonna see it on it's all a, over. It's about what you expect from one of these kind of films. It's like it's perfectly safe. It's obviously not perfectly safe. Yeah. That's so, the film in general. I still like your comment. That's the film in general. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> It's like, if we had the option to go to Jurassic World, I'd rather go over there. Honestly, it's like, I, I don't know how many times I've seen a film like this where it's vintage, it's vintage disaster movie. Just like, everything's fine. Everything is not fine. Everything's safe. Everything's obviously not safe. Hey, look, there's some guy warning us that we shouldn't do this. Ah, it'll be fine. He's been warning us these past few days. Or... Ah, we'll be fine. Oh, shit, something's happening. Oh, gosh, darn, I wish we would listen to you. And some people survive, some people meet gruesome deaths. Guy on jet ski who gets speared by a fucking piece of volcanic rock. Um, just, yeah, that's all this film is. It's just yeah. one big old disaster film they wanted to do. And they got Simon West, who's known for doing action films. I forgot he did Expendables 2. That means um, So, what do you think of Expendables 2? It was passable. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I mean, if... It's one of those watch with friends to just talk about how goofy it is. That's about it. It's, uh, you have those films where it's like, you know, it's like you got nothing else to do. You got nothing else to watch. You're like, you know, let me just watch something, 
you know, it's like you may not want to pay attention too much to it, but it's like, you know, it's like every now and then you'll watch it just for a little bit, but it's like, ah, oh, let me get back to what I'm doing, you know, I just have it going on in the background. It's, it's one of those type of films, you know, um, you know, and, and for, if not for, it's you know, for those people that just, again, it's just like, I'll just put it on just to watch it, what the hell, you know, it's like I got nothing better to do, it's like, it's a popcorn flow, let me just pop it on and go from there. You know, that's, that's what I think of it, and you know, it's, it's not the greatest, uh, you know, but it's like, it's doing what he can with what it's got. Yeah, exactly. So, it is what it is. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about volcanoes going boom, uh, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Where's the boom? Sorry. <laughs> Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Are you a sucker for these films? Do you like watching these uh, these these type of films pretty much where it doesn't it's not the greatest but you still enjoy watching it. I mean there's there's all those types of films. I mean we're not, you know, telling you don't watch it though. It's saying if you you like watching them, go ahead and watch it. If you want to take a look at it, go right ahead. Uh put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this trailer, but most importantly, thank you. For watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very volcano filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.